Why, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to Resident Evil Evolution 2. It played that time. <laughs> the transition actually played. Hi, Fizz. Early bird indeed. Yes, hi. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, uh, feels good to be back in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Oh my god. It is Saturday. It is a beautiful day outside. It, it's somewhat sunny here. It's somewhat sunny. It's it's a decent beautiful day. I have some I have some tea as well that I'm drinking for today's stream. <laughs> Just some regular black tea. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be a fun one today, ladies and gents. We are going to be playing the sandbox mode for this game. Finally! We can build the ultimate park, customize it however we want, how dinosaurs behave, uh... Change the weather, time of day, have like no issues, just do whatever we want, build whatever we want. I have spent a lot of the past week going through the species viewer and making up a bunch of different skin and pattern color combinations for a good variety of dinosaurs that I would love to use for the park. And of course, we can just play around with a species viewer at some points as well to see what would be a great fit for different species. So this this is going to be a very relaxed chill stream. We're going to sit back, relax, it's not going to be an insane, like, fast pace. Like, oh, I got to get this done, this done, this done, this done. We're going to take our time with this. There's no rush to do anything. You can just chill and just create the ultimate Jurassic World, Jurassic Park. That we can. <laughs> Yippee! Yes. Oh, uh, yes. And I believe when we select uh, sandbox mode. Yep, the first thing we need to do is select a location to work with. Oh my god, there's a lot of options here. Uh, square levels. So choose from a variety of biomes and build without limits an expansive open landscape. Oh, is this the challenge? Huh. So we have other locations. We have Canada. I believe these are challenge modes. The challenge modes. Okay, wait. So this is like the free like land uh, sandbox location areas. Then I believe we can also choose the challenge mode locations. So there's Canada, there's Germany, UK, Northwest USA, and Southwest USA. Huh. So there's a desert sandbox, uh, the Northwest, then there's the UK, uh, Germany, so there's a coastal area, and then Canada with, with Canada Mountains. And then there's the ones from Chaos Theory Mode, which is, he's a Nublar 1993. San Diego from The Lost World. We do Isa Sonar Site B. He's a Nublar 2015, which is Jurassic World. And then there's Sierra Nevada, which was the Jurassic World Dominion uh, location where you had to save ourselves from poachers. And then these are from the DFW main campaign mode. Arizona, Washington State, Pennsylvania, Oregon, California, Biosyn Sanctuary, we can go back to. Uh, San Albertus Peninsula, which I believe this is part of the... Malta. Yeah, these three are part of the Malta uh, campaign. I, I liked the the Samari Bay one for the 
aquatics. That, that one was a good location to have for like a lot of the marine dinosaurs. We're definitely not going to do any of these. Um, I feel like we should probably do... Are these in the new blog 1993 or 2015? Maybe 2015. Make our own Jurassic World uh, variant. And of course, I love myself a tropical climate. So I'm going to select this. Okay, now I need to do uh, settings. Jeez. Uh, so building style, all buildings, staff, and guests, Jurassic World. Oh, we can even change that, can we? Standard layout, pre pre built layout, Jurassic. Oh, chaos theory. So. I'm going to turn to Isla Nublar 2018, so we can, we can even have the Fallen Kingdom variant of this? Huh. Okay. I think we'll just do the standard, just start from scratch. Uh, creative, standard, which is, I believe, just like basic, like, kind of like regular gameplay where you would have, uh... The money and like you would be limited on stuff custom we're gonna do creative obviously <gasps> wait oh wait. ooh, i can have all of them that's great because the one thing before in the in the first uh discord evolution game that was a big disappointing factor for it was with the sandbox mode you couldn't um, use both Jurassic Park and Jurassic World buildings. You can only select one era or the other. But with this, we can literally use everything? We can have the gyrosphere. We can have the Jurassic Park uh, Ford tour ride. We can have everything, apparently. And then... You have W buildings, Bowson buildings, and Malta buildings, apparently, as well, if you want to use those. And let's see. Just a world staff only. There's a park staff and guests. There's a park staff only. Guests only. Dance protection group workers, DFW operatives. We're going to go with staff and guests, obviously, for this. That's the. That makes the most sense. Uh, What about. Scientist details disabled, I guess. So that's that. I can't select this section. Alright, so now we're onto the dinosaur behavior part of this. Uh, so we can have no egg failures. So every batch would successfully uh, produce dinosaurs, I believe, which is what we'll go with. Uh, we can have no disease as well for them. No injuries. Uh, they can't starve, they can't dehydrate. I feel like we should have some realism in this. So I feel like, uh, starving and hydrating should be probably on for all of them. We need to have some realism in this mode. Eggies, yes, eggs. The lifespan could be unlimited, I'm gonna go with that option. So they won't die of old age. They'll still. Then they basically just won't die unless they get into combat. If we choose to let that happen, uh, status checks. Setting this off will mean range of teens and maybe use are no longer required to perform status checks and medical scans. Uh, I guess we could kind of have that off because it's annoying when the when the range of teens go into carnivores. It's really annoying. Unlimited feeder reserves. Uh. Things are going to need to be re refilled. Yeah, I'm going to go with that option. <laughs> we're going to keep. We're keeping these on. And that's our behavior. Danger to guests. Uh, we can have. We can also have carnivores only on. So no escapes. The speed at which uncomfortable dinosaurs tend to break out. Low escapes. Oh jeez, that's a treat. Intelligent. Saying this sound will, will cause some species to have the chance of being synchronized with the intelligent trait. 
Vehicle aggression control sets of dinosaurs will attack vehicles. Land only, air only. <laughs> That's funny. I guess on all of them. Dinosaur comfort. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So, uh, saying this, the fussy will give all newly synchronized dinosaurs the fussy trait for raising the requirements to be comfortable. Oh boy. Hard. Fussy trait on. <laughs> I'm gonna say off, because that way we can have more variety to work with. And hi, Fantasy. Welcome to the Jurassic World Evolution 2 stream. How we doing, Fantasy, on this fine weekend? We're getting the sandbox mode uh, ready. We're just going through all the options that we can when it comes to uh, setting this up. So we're going through dinosaur behavior right now. Uh, so I want to have this off. Doing good in you. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's a lovely, beautiful weekend. We get to finally play sandbox mode, so I'm very happy. It's going to be a lot, lot of fun. And I got my black tea. Um, so yeah, we're just going through all the settings. Um, what building styles we'll have, which we can have all of them, which is awesome. And now, yeah, dinosaur behavior. So we can have combat frequency. Uh, I also believe I might be able to change this, hopefully, while we're in game, too. So right now I'm going to have that as none. Only none to normal. You, you can't have set, set it to high or anything. You know what? Maybe... Maybe normal. Purple was able, able to initiate fights. Uh, That, that, that doesn't make sense, so I'm going to keep that off. Dinosaur send, summon, determines which types of dinosaurs are able to be commanded by ranger teams. Ooh. That's funny. By default, all herbivores except there is a source can be commanded, and carnivores except scavengers cannot. So I I could literally like wrangle like like send T Rexes to their pen if I need to. <laughs> Maybe negative G modification. I guess I'll keep these infinite G modification points enabled. Ooh, infinite. Unlimited traits. I guess I'm going to enable that. The more the merrier, I think. Dinosaur carbon habitation. Which can change the properties between them. Setting to all like means all territories can completely share space with all other territories. Setting on dislike means that territories would normally be Contentious become neutral. I'm going to say all like. Just for the sake of. I'm doing this for herbivores. Specifically. Because some herbivores. Normally wouldn't be able to coexist. With others. Which is annoying. If I want to have a big. Giant group of herbivores. In an enclosure for like a tour ride. I want to have them in there. And not have to worry about them. You know fighting each other. So we're going to do this. This is mainly just for herbivores. Because they can be picky when it comes to other herbivore species being in the same enclosure. Alright. Um, I'm going to have no escapes for now. Like I said, hopefully we can change the settings for this while we're also in the game. Once we begin it. Because I would suck if we can't. But now let's go to gameplay. Uh, contra I want contracts off. We don't need them. Uh, Sentence off will disable all assigned task re requirements and salary costs. Sentence off make expeditions and fossil extractions available. You can even do the dinosaur exchange in this. That's, that's interesting. From the Malta campaign. That we did. I believe that's what this is referring to. Uh, make research available. 
Cast time adjusts the time required to complete research. Ooh, I can increase it. Or decrease it, even. Cast time 100%. Adjusts the time required. We do 10%. Operation building limits. Send this off will allow an additional second operation buildings to be placed. They're keeping that off. This is yeah. Okay, so the game plan was pretty straightforward. Now park. On the power on, yes. Infinite fuel on Invis invisible vehicles? Send this on will cause vehicles not to be damaged from impacts or, or dinosaur attacks. Interesting. Look into that some other time. Sabotage risk uh, difficulty. Yeah, we're going to have that off. That basically would mean if a scientist that we had was overworked and we we overworked them and they would try to sabotage us by either turning off the power, maybe uh, detonating gates and releasing dinosaurs into the park. <laughs> uh, maybe like, uh, you know, uh, Dennis Nedry. <laughs> so Cash Unlimited... Appear difficulty normal. We'll keep everything, I guess, normal. Income target normal. Income. <laughs> we can have we, no income tax at all. None. <laughs> we have no income tax. <laughs> so it reduces how much uh, income your park generates at higher income, a larger portion of income is taxed. <laughs> We're having none. That's the environment for the cycle. Uh, we can have it be. We can have it be calm. And we'll do it the day night cycle and then the duration. I guess, like. I guess maybe. I guess 30 minutes. Uh, terrain normal. Flattened. Uh, we'll stick with normal. And yes, we'll have all biomes color grading. Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World Mediterranean. Jurassic World Alpine, Taiga. And Jurassic World's fine. I guess that is it. That is everything. Like I said, if you need to change any settings in game, we should be good. So, let's start the game! Welcome to Jurassic World. Sandbox mode! Heck yeah. Path not connected. Oh, yay. <laughs> Unlimited money. And this path, too? We gotta, okay, so I gotta link those two together. Um, But we have basically everything to work with. We have a blank slate. So we have the whole map here to work with. Do whatever we want. Definitely one of the first things we should do is pick a spot to put the hatchery. The small hatchery section for. Where we can incubate and synthesize all the dinosaurs. And then release them. And then we'll airlift them and put them in their enclosures. Um... I believe, was it like... It might have been, like, this section from the Chaos Theory campaign mode playthrough we did that I put it over here somewhere. Um, or do we put it somewhere, somewhere along the bottom? Oh, that's not it. Uh, operations... We have the arrival point. That's cool that we can have all that's that we have all these available. We, we can't build the visitor center. That that's sad. 
If it was the 1993 variant, we'd be able to do that. So you got the staff center. We can have all. This is amazing. We can have all of them. All the different medical facilities. It's great. Um. All right. Enclosures. We can even even have biosense visible gates, and invisible fences. And the different aviary domes too. That's nice. We even the lagoon. I didn't notice that 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 some of the designs are different. So we we could really mix this up so much. Yes, I love this already. Um, all right, let's go to fences. Jesus. <laughs> so I got largely electrified fences. I believe these are the Biosyn ones, I think. Or I could be wrong. That's a gate. Classic gate. Ooh, the, there's a park gate. Oh my god, it's the gate from the first... The gates from, like, the first Dresser Park movie. Oh, that's amazing. Is a visible fence from bio from the biosyn heavy fence. These are the concrete ones. What's this? Oh, those are the these are the ones from Jurassic Park Three, where the Spinosaur rams and runs through. <laughs> it's got spikes on the top of it. That's a gate. That's amazing. It's even got the, the danger 10,000 volts sign on it. All right. Uh, I guess we'll do... Hmm. What to choose from? I don't want to use the invisible walls. We could go with the heavy fence design for it. Um... Maybe right here. Which hatchery now do we choose? This is the Dress of Park or World one? This is Dress of Park one. This is Dress of World. This is Biosins, I think. One of these is Biosins. Actually, this one might be. This one's Biosins. Ah! Using the wrong commands. There's the Malta one. I think we should do the Jurassic World one. Okay. We're also making this um, very small, obviously, because we don't need it to be big at all. I think probably... That should be a good spot, and then we'll build the fence. We can have these. <laughs> now nah, we'll, we'll go. We'll go. We'll go with like this concrete. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of like this idea. Or maybe, maybe we say that for a carnivore. So for now, we're just going to do this.
Oops, not that. Uh, shit, is the toggle curved? Eh, you don't really need it to be. As long as we go along this, we should be fine. Then do this side. Up to that point. Let's do a straight wall down. And then we'll have it in there. Okay. Let's remove some foliage. I wonder, uh, you can have oriental shrubs. You can have flowers if you wanted to. You need, I, I, I am going to put a gate here. We can do different style gates though. So maybe that's great. So these are all the. So is there only these three options then? Classic gate, regular gate, and then invisible gate. What do you think? We should go with the classic gate for this. Or maybe, maybe save that for a, an enclosure, an actual enclosure. So we'll go with the regular gate. Uh, we'll put like some trees in here, and then just a tad, like a small little uh bit of water. Jeez, look at these feeders. Wait, there's different, like, shark feeder variants? Oh, there is. They're slightly different. Interesting. <laughs> I never would have noticed those tiny detail changes that are... that they have. Now we're gonna do environment. We're gonna make... You have rock, dirt, different kind of rock, sand, different kind of dirt. I can do a tiny bit of sand, maybe along this tree line. And this section be mainly sand. Yeah, we're actually gonna make this cool looking. Uh, I want to do decorations. Oh my god, we could have so much. <laughs> you got the gyrosphere sign? <laughs> Oops. The Jurassic Dress Park classic signs? What's this? Jurassic Park, ooh, on a rock. Banners? Let's see. You can even have different trees. Large tree. You can have palm trees. Heck yeah. We love our palm trees. You can have smaller ones. Even We can even put planters. <laughs> oh, these are also planters from the shops we could use. That's amazing. We could, we could place them wherever we want. And potted plants. Oh my god. You can have alpine themed too. You can have alpine trees. And alpine themed planters. Desert ones. Mediterranean. Oh my god, we can have everything. 
Where are my babies? There's Gabku. Hello. Welcome to the stream. We haven't started that yet. We're just starting to... We, we just are working on making the hatchery exhibit. Well, so that we could eventually make them. But I feel like the first dinosaurs we should make should be Buttercup and Brownie. So we'll, we'll work on getting them, and then we need to make a we need to make a spot for their enclosure. <laughs> Gagu says yes, 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 yes. Welcome in, and thank you all for the three likes already for this stream. I appreciate it. I'm just going through the, the decorations because with the sandbox mode, they said we could have all the variations of decorations, so we can have literally everything. So I'm going through everything. We we can have desert, Mediterranean, Taiga, temperate. We have temperate themed trees. We can have autumn. It could be autumn in Jurassic World if we wanted it to. You literally need need a drawing or a render with my babies and me calling with them. Oh, like puppies. That'd be adorable. You would kill for them. <laughs> I think we should have a like some kind of decoration like this in here. Uh, we have a utility tower, a wall arch, storage shelter. Here's the watchtower from the Dominion. Uh, cast the remote. We can have. Oh my God! It's the, it's the toilet, uh, shed from Dresser Park, where uh. The lawyer dies to the T-Rex. You can even have the raptor paddock from the first movie, too. I don't think you can use it. It can only be used as decoration. You can't put raptors in this thing. You have a large tent with lights on it. This is from Lost World, isn't it? I think. From... Uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, Peter Ludlow's camp. Encampment. A trailer office. <gasps> That's from... There's a park. Oops. That This is, uh... Alan Grant's, uh, trailer office. It's made, They made so many... You can have a flashbang. The TRX case from Lost World. Oh my god. <laughs> they did so much. Zegasaur cage. Even the raptor cage from the first movie. They have they have everything. Even the Indoraptor cage. This is amazing. Get ahead because dinosaur is not getting ahead because bathroom. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I'm just I'm just geeking out that, that they they took so many references from all the movies and put them in the game. Okay, uh, you have a DW container, white container, blue container. I think we should have like a supply pile or something in here. Or right, you know what? Mm. Where else is environment stuff? Rocks. Oh boy, that's for the, that's the lagoon stuff. They can't do that here. You can have alpine rocks, tropical rocks, temperate rocks. We can have all the rocks. Oh my god. We're gonna go with tropical ones for now. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna put some. Oh, yes, actually, you know, I'm gonna put more trees. Burp. We're gonna get rid of that rock. We're gonna put. We're gonna put it. Nope, oh, wrong section again. Back to here. Put it there. And you know what? While I'm at it, we may as well link these sections together. So let's do that. You can even have all the paths. Classic path. 
luxury main throw through path. Wide path. We're going to go with what's standard. Into the place feature. Can I replace that? No, I can't. All right, so this is the regular path. All right, let's go with standard for this. Uh, we'll start with luxury. Yep. <laughs> Don't be sorry that that that's funny. <laughs> Rock Dwayne Johnson. It, it 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 might be. It could be. I'm gonna do a small standard path. Uh, let's do curd paths as well for this. Why? Why is that? Uh, that's clearly not obstructing it. That that's plenty of space to to be to be between that. But whatever. You're you're picky like that. All right, we'll go around like this. Look at along close to the hill here. We'll go through some of these trees. Fuck, screw it. And that's where you'll link up. And now we gotta link this path. To the hatchery. I think. Both like a wide path. Actually, no. Through that. We're going to go with the regular path for now. Of a facility path. Ooh, yes, I'm gonna go with that. We'll do these for facilities only. So you go along this. You go along this water formation we have, because I I may uh fancy this up. I make this look nicer. We'll go like that, and then we'll just have you go along this. Okay. And sneak you around. And connect you like that. There we go. Now it's connected. Let's go to the hatchery. We can use infinite stuff, so I'm going to increase the bay limit so we can um, synthesize a lot more dinosaurs. Uh, there's no bays, thank you very much. So now that's all available. Oh yeah, we can, we can only have two upgrades with the hatchery. So we'll do that, and then... We already have full success for uh, synthesization. I think uh, accelerated growth might be good. That's the best option. Unlimited money? Yes, we have unlimited money. We have unlimited money. We, we, we're we not going to get storms. Uh, we don't need to worry about using uh, ranger teams. Anything. We have full freedom. So here's the list of all the dinosaurs, and they have 100% genomes. So we don't need to do anything. We can just click and go. But obviously, 
Toptus. Toptus the Great. Toptus. Toptus. We're obviously going all the way down to T Rex. You can also modify the genome, so we're going to do that. Yes, Toptus. So here we are. This is the full modification system. We can uh, make changes potentially to like their health, social requirements, stuff like that. Yes, absolutely, Gapku. Yes. So we're we're gonna start this off with Buttercup. So, which is this variation? Um, and I believe we should we should make them unique. Uh in terms of their genome. So I wonder... Um, oh, you can do this? Okay, so thirsty. So DNA from the Arabian sand gazelle reduces the amount of water a dinosaur needs to drink to stay healthy. I mean, we don't really need to change that, do we? We don't really need to. This, this modification reduces the rate of health loss of dehydration. I don't think we, we don't really need. I don't think we need. We don't think we need to do that. Hey, Rusty, welcome in. Welcome in to Jurassic World Evolution Two. You love this game, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> and we're getting into sandbox mode finally, and we now get to play with dinosaurs and do whatever we want. So we're gonna have a lot of fun doing this. You can change his appetite. You can have a large one, a small one. I think for T-Rex, we should keep it... Neutral. Short lived, long lived. They, they, they can live unlimited lives. Uh, We have it set to where dinosaurs can't die. But... I mean, the T-Rexes lived... From... Lost World... To Dominion, so I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them like a long-lived lifespan. Hundred percent. Why not? You only played Jurassic World Evolution one. Not sure where all is different. There's a lot more decoration uh, options. There's a lot more uh, animations for the dinosaurs, like social animations. Um, there's marine. Reptiles and there's uh, aviaries. So you can have flying dinosaurs in this game as well. So they, they took a lot of the main components from the first one and then just kind of upgraded it a bit. And there's a lot more decoration options. Basically, just everything. It's awesome. You can make them not die. Yes. I decided to, for them to not die at all. But because T-Rexes can can live for a decent amount of years, I figured why not give them a long lifespan. Uh, resilient. So Grey Reef Shark reduces the genome instability, which allows DNA to repair itself more efficiently. I'm going to make him resilient, obviously. My god, the, the, the cost time it's going to make. <laughs> the, the cost that it's going to be. Alright, social section now. Humility. Uh, needy, humble. So DNA from the burrowing owl helps dinosaurs adapt well to small spaces. I, I'll keep T-Rex neutral for that. Now sociability. Uh, now with, with the wolf gene, we can make it to where T-Rexes like to be in groups of their own species. So, we are increasing their social tolerance. Location increases the number of dinosaurs, increases the dinosaurs' the dominance and the chance of the dinosaur stars with other dinosaurs. Yeah, so I'm doing 100% chance for that. Because we need the, the, fem the male and female, Buttercup and uh, Brownie, to socialize with each other. Tolerance. Uh, the Bono's dolphin DNA creates dinosaurs that thrive in groups containing other species. Uh, we're gonna make T-Rex intolerant for that. <laughs> I, I'm gonna keep, I guess, him, like, 
we're not going to change that setting, I think. For, for, for T-Rex. And now we can get to combat. So we, we, we can increase his strength. So it increases the attack of a dinosaur. So I'm going 100% for T-Rex. At, at least for uh, Buttercup. And then defense. American Crocodile DNA. For tougher skin. Which I'll give a 75% chance of that. Yeah, Buttercup. Or should I go to 100%? Say 500%. What should I do? In improving combat effect? I probably should do 100% for, for... He's indestructible. Yeah, I definitely should for, 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 for Buttercup. And now fitness. Brownie, Brownie was... He, he did ballet, Brownie was a punk, and they fell in love. I'll make T-Rex fit as well. Or a couple will be 100% everything. So I believe that's... That's up... That's it for the genome, because the, the health, we don't really need to... I mean, besides the lifespan, I was like, we don't need to change anything. And then just resilience increased. And intolerance for other dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna save and exit. It, it it's gonna cost two. It, to, it would cost two million to make Buttercup. All right, so we're doing that, and now we're gonna do Brownie, which would be this one. He is priceless. We'll keep Brownie's social uh, lifespan and resilience the same. And social the same. I might, inc I might decrease her offense just by 25%. Probably should keep defense maybe the same. And then fitness the same. But just combat slightly less. Other than that, I don't think I would change anything else. So we'll do that for brownie. And then start getting brownie. Hello, sir. Knock, knock. Hello, Christina Johnson. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Jurassic World Evolution 2. How are you doing? And we have the batches completed. That's amazing. Aggressive. Social. Wait, what's the difference between these two? Oh, oh, intolerant. Um, I guess I just go with this one. Prefers to sleep in the day. Ah, prefers to sleep in the day. Nocturnal. Okay. And go with this one. So this is for uh, Buttercup. And now, Brownie. Intolerant. Resilient. Nocturnal prefers to sleep in the day. So the only difference, I believe, with this is that one, one egg would be nocturnal, the other one wouldn't be. Should we have both of them be nocturnal? Oh, so that's supposed to be a knock knock joke. Knock knock, who's there? Is 
Wait, was that mean? Uh, nocturnal would mean that they would like stay, they would be awake at night, and they would sleep during daylight. Like nocturnal predators, like some predators like to hunt and be awake at night versus the day. Where, where, who? Interesting, never knew I, I was nocturnal. <laughs> some some content creators are, are nocturnal, didn't you know? I, I, I would consider Vahan to be in that category. Vahan just, does, just doesn't sleep at all. Be like me for real. Yeah, nocturnal. Okay, so then we'll go with the nocturnal option for Brownie as well then. Bond doesn't sleep at all. Yeah, exactly. Where who? Where who? Source. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you for that one, Christina. Thank you very much. <laughs> where who? Source. Something, something working with Americans. I have like meetings at at midnight. Oh, geez, yeah, you, you gotta deal with you, you gotta deal with Alpine, Rusty, don't you? <laughs> can I release these two together or no? Can they be? Can they not be released together? I wonder. Uh, there's not a way to like have. I don't think you can do that, right? Can I release them together at the same time? But well, I, I can't do that yet because we need to make their own closure. Alpin is one of the like 12 Americans that have to deal with on the server. She isn't even the furthest west. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the ones on the west coast would... would, would yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Having to put up with that. All right. Now, ooh, we we can even go by the the bit the other variations. So this is just like world themed buildings. There's a park, DFW, Biosins, and then these are for uh, Malta, Malta campaign. And they can have all of them. They suck. They're, they're they're great, but they suck. <laughs> That's funny. All right, now where do we put brownie and buttercups enclosure? Because this is the Jurassic World 2015 layout. If we stuck by Jurassic World's layout, uh, TRX Kingdom was on this side. So you could put them on this side if you want. The center location, like where this water is, this is where the like uh Mosasaur Lagoon would be in the Jurassic World. But obviously we're doing our own parks, we can do our own layout, we don't need to recreate it. At some point I think I feel like we could do a, a recreation stream. And try to recreate. As long as they're happy and I can get to call it that they could be anywhere. Hmm. I mean, yeah. Like I did I do like the idea of TRXs being on this side, so we'll we'll do it on this side. And now here's the beauty of it. We can have different uh fences. We can have the concrete wall. We can have this wall with the spikes on it. It's a classic game from from the Jurassic Park movie. 
Should we go, should we go concrete wall or spiky wall? So it'll be like that. Or concrete. Well, if they'll be her, they will they 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 will not be. There is no escape options for this. I turned escapes off, uh bad like storm weather's off. It can only just rain calmly, that's it. I I'm I'm just thinking just like design aesthetic choices. Any other, like, fences? We can have large electrified fence, which would be... That, but it's, like, nothing fancy. When, the one we could see through? Okay. That That's a fair point. Alright, so this one. Uh, do we have do we have this be curved or just be like a a square? <laughs> I was like I also gotta think of like where we're gonna put kiosks and hotels and stuff, which probably will be maybe on this side somewhere. It's gotta be a square. All right, <laughs> it has to be a square. Okay. All right then. It's gotta be big enough too for the both of them. Okay, so then that. Mm. I love the music in this game so much. Go from this. Nope. It's got to line up. Bam. Square. This is big enough for the both of them. Everything has to be a square. <laughs> Robins, I can't have a I can't have a square for the gyrosphere. If we're gonna do like 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 a tour section, it, those can't be square. Yeah. All right. Now we get to do the fun part of designing this enclosure. I think for nostalgia purposes, we have the classic gate from Dresser Park for them, since they were from the Dresser Park era. Yes, they can. Try harder. Uh, all right then. <laughs> uh, how, how about I put you? How about I put you in an enclosure, you, you, you dragon? <laughs> Come see the very first dragon at Jurassic World. <laughs> We call him Rusty. Hmm. Maybe I put it. I put it up their gate. Please do. <laughs> I. I wish. I wish we could have dragons and. 
Jurassic Park Evolution 2 does have a lot of uh, mods in it. So there might be one for dragons. I don't know. Uh... Maybe we'll put the gate there. So that this is for like rancher teens if they need to. Why does it say eleven? What? Uh, I'm just gonna. Well, yeah, we we can rename gates and everything. Uh, we'll put that another time. But now, um, we get to let's do attractions now. We can have different viewing gallery styles. Viewing platform styles. We got the zip line. Ooh. Even the zip line variants are different. That might be Biosins. We could have the amphitheater. Ooh. That's great that we could use that if we want. Uh, what should we use? Should we use the log viewing gallery or the what should we call it? Nope, that's not it. Uh, the dome. The dome kind of covers the whole the entire enclosure for for viewing, except for the corners. No, well, that's that's not square. <laughs> so everything in this has to be a square. <laughs> Gee, I'm glad I have a setting in game to where I, I can have the dinosaurs be complacent, but the viewers I cannot. <laughs> if only that was an option. Quirrosaurus. <laughs> Quarosaurus Rex Square Challenge. Vin guys are kind of square. Do we should we do a zip line over their enclosure at all? I can have it go from one corner to the other. So if I switch around to where they would come in here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Make sure this is lined up. I think that should be lined up. No, nah, that looks a little off. Looks a tad bit off. You know, we'll, we'll worry about that after. Let's get the like the inside of this done. So we need to have a place for them to drink water. I was gonna say that doesn't seem entirely up to code, but then again, neither does this entire park. I mean, what do you mean everything's up to code? What do you mean? Well, why would you question things? Stop, stop questioning things. How, how, how about you stop? Do not question things. All right. Uh, water source. You have pizza. A hey, awesome. Uh, do, 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 do. maybe we should have a water source along this side. Yeah, make that a little bigger. Okay. 
That could have some trees along it. Some trees along here. Trees along this section. And then I'm going to add in sand, because yes, they should have sand. A <laughs> water source. Oh, pepperoni pizza. Hey, that's good. We're going to do some sand along this. I, I, lo I love the drums in this music. Maybe a little sand along this part. Let's do some rocks now. Maybe a big one there. Random tropical rock. Hey, <laughs> yes, sand. They're gonna make sand castles. <laughs> oh, they want. Have you seen their tiny arms? Oh, how how dare you? <laughs> they can dream. They can dream. They can dream up. A bunch of rocks. Uh, what else? Uh, decorations. Let's see, what can we put in here? Do we put the red? Do we put the Rex cage in here? Somewhere. Or, no, nah, maybe we'll have, uh, that's a camera post. Construction crane. You can have a wall tower. The classic bunker, ooh, from, from Rosa Park, yo. And the maintenance shed. They, they did everything. You can have a small section. Vacations tower, storage shelter. You can have so much of this. Floodlights, camera posts. You can have a lot of things. We love the tiny arms. Their their hands might be tiny, but but they still can do art. <laughs> That's incredible. Classic art wall arch. Wall arch curved. Ooh, this is from Russell Park. <gasps> the fallen tree. Oh my god, they, they put everything in this. <laughs> you can have a Mr. DNA sculpture. <laughs> Classic table with chairs. The John Hammond statue we could put somewhere, obviously. Ooh. Should I have this in here? Or have this on the outside somewhere. Maybe on the outside of this. You can have the gate, too. Biosyn Fountains. The sculptures from Biosyn. Spires for Skeleton. So much we can do. Your skeleton. Alright, let's see what else uh, we can put in here. 
Uh, da, 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 da. I want to put in which we call it. Maybe we can put in some dirt in some spots too. Maybe like here. We have dirt in this section. I can have rock too. A rock like around here. Find some grass in. Hey, welcome to the stream week. How we doing? Yeah, I made it, but, but wait a minute. Hey, there he is. How we doing week? We're doing good. We're starting our sandbox mode, so we're just playing around with stuff, making an enclosure for the T-Rexes. I need to have their life eater. Wait, why are these different? <gasps> wait. You can have them chained. I can have the goats chained. Is that what that is? If I do this. <gasps> yes, it's like it's like it's like it's like the first movie. Oh wait, but he's not chained. No, oh, that 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 is a lie. That is a big lie. How dare you? That's not real. You doing okay? Aw, oh, well, you get to chill and hang with us as we make things for dinosaurs. I might put the goat feeder. There. And what else can I do? Uh, da, 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 da. And a bit more dirt in some spots. And dirt there. Add some maybe here. Put a little bit there mixed in with the rock. The sand in. And then I can also add in some grassland and shrubs. up a tiny bit of forest there. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Uh, we can also... I definitely will need to add in... We gotta add in something that's attraction-wise for them. You can go the log viewing gallery route. That only covers a portion of it. If you do the zip line... This is Biosyn's variation of this? Like, what is this? I can't tell. I cannot tell. I'll go with this variation of it. Okay. Yeah, 
<laughs> I like how it's yeah, tall, short, tall, short, tall, short. These taco taco these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having fun. Come on. Let me have some fun. We love taco and D's. I'm trying to make sure that I align this. It doesn't, this set doesn't seem to be perfectly aligned. Or maybe it is. You can always fix it if it needs to be realigned, but. I believe it is perfectly aligned. All right, now I'm going to go with a wide path for that. And then we got to link this together. I'm leaving space between this right now because I, I'm not sure like how we're going to design it with when it comes to adding uh, restaurants, shops. That's why I'm leaving some space here for extra additional buildings. But that is now aligned and we can ride it if we want. Weep! <laughs> We goat. <laughs> okay. This game's environment, brushes, and structure tools are. Sick. Yeah, I absolutely love this. It's it's awesome. Um, the only thing I can think of just like adding other additional like decor and rocks to this. Environment. You can raise terrain as well, but I'm not sure about raising the terrain at all at this point. That's Taiga Rock. I already have the big one. Oh, <laughs> there it goes, and no one's on it. <laughs> That's funny. Nobody's on it. I'm gonna cool a rock in the water. Oops. Uh Think for the rocks. Route. Can have one there by the gate. Put one here. Another one there. I already have the large one, but I can put another large one somewhere. Maybe on this side. Think about there. Maybe I'm going to go... What? Don't you dare. We'll stop you. We will stop you from doing that. Hmm. If I am going to indeed move them over, we also need to actually have a ranger team on standby. So we do need to actually build one. Uh, da -da 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 where's the ranger team section at? 
Response facility, yes. Really, this is the Jurassic World variation of it. And I believe... Um, maybe we'll have teams along this section. you there. Hmm. I need to flatten that out. Flatten this terrain a bit. There we go. Make that a little better. <laughs> and then, uh, smoothen this out. Smooth. I'm not driving to traffic. Yes, I agree, Fizz. None of that. No. And then we need to... Uh, I'm going to make a facility path to connect it to that. Voila, we have our ridge teams. And we can also, I believe, change the skins of these. Yeah, we can have DPG. We can have the... Ooh, the worn ones from Dresser Park, too? Yeah. Get the, we got the JP. Jeeps. And the helicopter as well, I believe we can change. DPG. <gasps> get the Lost World Copter? Yeah. It's got an engine on it, yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. I thank you for the five likes, everybody. I appreciate it. Uh, and I, we may as well give them upgrades. Uh, do, 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 do. Decreases time to scan dinosaurs by 90%. Wow. Uh, advanced training increases accuracy. Let's do task scheduling. We can add an additional team as well if we need to. We, we may as well. That that helps a lot. Um, let me go back to this smooth section here. Okay. Hopefully that looks. And I'll actually I'm gonna make uh this section here. Use dirt. They're gonna use dirt for this. Oh, did my, my OBS cut off for a second there? It must have, didn't it? It must have. That have a little bit of dirt. Okay, so now we have that. Now I believe we can start and release Buttercup and Brownie. <laughs> Galgo says, "Yep." All right. Um, is there anything else that I need to do before we add them? Probably not, right? We're just only gonna have, we only just wanna have a zip line then to view them. Yes, that's it. <laughs> just a zip line. That's the only way you, you, you can view T Rex, nothing else. And I don't think we, at the moment, need to get any other operation 
places built. Because we don't really need them. So, alright then. Alrighty! We shall start... ...by releasing... Buttercup. Yeah. There isn't a more iconic dinosaur than the T-Rex. Even people who don't know the difference between herbivore and carnivore know all about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah. And when you see her up close, feel her gaze, you understand why the T-Rex was the ruler of the Cretaceous period. Yeah, thank you for that addition, Claire. <laughs> There's Buttercup. He's back. <laughs> Beautiful as ever. Alright, and now we release... Oh wait, should I tranquilize him and get him moved over first? And then we'll release uh, Brownie. And then have them meet together in, in the enclosure. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> yes, my baby. And Rusty says, add a weak point in the fence for that sense of danger. <laughs> have like a... Have like a small electrified fence in one of the in one of the parts. <laughs> Instead of a heavy fence. Have have there be like just like a small tiny section of it of it being uh Yes, that's romantic. Okay. I will tranquilize Buttercup myself. Let's get to get a good look at this chopper. Oh, it's that that, that looks great. And it's green. I hear you. I'm on my way. Oops. And A mode. And he's going to sit, actually, which is convenient. Got him on the foot. Missed it. Damn. Got him. That should hopefully do it. Nope, he needs one more. Buttercup's a strong boy. Sorry, this, this, this is just for your own good. There you go. And down he goes. <laughs> Alright. I don't want to move him. <laughs> that's that 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 that's a cute laying spot. I took a I took a screenshot of that. <laughs> All right, we'll move. We'll get you moved. To your new home. There you go. Yo, yippee! Alright, speed this up a little bit just to get him out. Asset cup reminds me of when my internet doesn't work. <laughs> yes. We'll get him moved over. Yes, Scabku, I, I will send you that, that, that image of Buttercup afterwards. <laughs> Asset 
There he is, in his new home. There you go, explore around a little bit. And roar at the helicopter, yes. <laughs> drop, drop, drop. <laughs> there he is, he's in his new home now. And next, we release Brownie. There she is. Whoops. Wowny. She beautiful. There's Brownie. Now we need to get Brownie. Which I will also do. I want her I want her to take three shots as well to tranquilize. And Buttercup's tail is glitching out. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to get your girl. No worries. She'll be fine. Pretty pink princess. <laughs> and there she is laying down as well. How about that? Hey, you're not gonna like it when I do this, though. Oh, there we go. Got her with all three shots. Is that enough? Really? You're gonna take four? Alright, big girl. Where are ya? In the tree somewhere. Nope. There she is. Gotcha. Oh, camera, please. Oh. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> there you go. There's one of Brownie, too. All right. She's sleepy. Finalize selection and move you to be here with Buttercup. And look at that, we already got people <laughs> going by. <laughs> and what's your appeal rating? Oh, I think I think it's the same. It, it didn't change, did it at all? Yes, yeah, smell the air. Yeah. Your kingdom. Dominance, 293. Dang. Asset in transit. Heck yeah. Alright, speed this up. Let's get them both in there together. She's coming! Here she comes. What will you do now? Okay. They're both in together. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, Buttercup is the alpha apparently, but they haven't engaged yet. Come on, I want you two to engage with each other. Are you hungry at all? Right, one of two. Do you, do you do you need another goat feeder? Apparently. There you both are. 
Come on. Oh, you're gonna engage? No. Yes. Engage. Oh, there it is. There they are. Oh. Oh, there they are. <laughs> nope, they're not gonna fight at all. <laughs> there it is. They're together. <laughs> Apparently, they need another gold feeder in here, though. But this one... There. See, so do you not get, like, thirsty at all or anything? I want to see... Is there a way that I can sandbox settings? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs don't star, don't dehydrate, uh, prevent getting. Ah, okay. We're gonna turn that to off. Uh. Wait a minute. Sandbox. Dinosaurs. Return this to off. Uh, apply. So that way they'll at least get... They'll eat and drink. I want them to have a child. I would, I would be grandma. <laughs> I mean... In the Lost World movie... These two do have a baby T-Rex. So they so they 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 were parents in the in the film. Ah, uh, they're, they're they're just so beautiful. <laughs> okay, there you go. Now the food the water is going down. So, we need to have them at least be able to eat and drink, be normal dinosaurs. Oh my god, please, I feel old. Un unfortunately, we can't have baby a baby T-Rex in this game, though. That's the only thing. If, if, if there was, I would 1000% go for it. But, unfortunately, we can't. I also may add forest, like, around their enclosure. Well, minus, like, by the gate entrance, I can't do it to there, but. Can at least add that to that. There we go. <laughs> Why get your money back? <laughs> Y y you know what, Frontier? I, I I I demand that you add baby dinosaurs to this game. <laughs> I demand it. Ah, I love this. Beautiful having these two together. Again, they're having a roar fest. All smart. I mean, God forbid someone. Evidently, sees a dinosaur <laughs> through the fence. Hey, you know what? I may do that bit of having like a small portion of the fence being weak. Uh, but wait, what kind of a fence is this? Replace on. What section of this do we change? Mm. 
I just want to replace, like, one small section of it. Uh, do, 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 do. Welcome back, week. We now have the Rex, the T-Rex couple in, the, in our park. Oh. Buttercup the male and Brownie the female. About to be hungry soon for food. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this. <laughs> yeah, the babies. I love that, love that too, seeing the footprints in the sand. Oh. Buttercup's going for it. Yeah, we got a goat. <laughs> yeah, he had a goat. Good color with them. <laughs> uh, what else could I add here to their enclosure while we're at this? Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go through the decorations again. Oh, brownie. Oh. You had to go right into the trees for that one. Couldn't see Brownie get eat her first goat. Oh, you saw Buttercup. Alright. Um There's a lot of other dinosaurs as well. That I want to go through and start secret and synthesizing. Um I do have my list. Of notes with all different combinations for for patterns and uh, skin colors. There is one specific uh, dinosaur that we definitely are going to be having, and that would be this little guy. He's so fluffy, and he's small. I would, uh, if I put him in with the enclosure with, uh, Buttercup and Brownie, they might eat him, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm trying to think, maybe, well, we probably should do a herbivore next. Mix things up a little bit. You, you, you love him? Yes, Raccoon. Yeah, yes. I'm going to name one of these Taco, by the way. One of these will be called Taco. Um, We have so many to choose. There's a lot of feathered dinosaurs. We got the Utah Raptor. We have U-Tyrannus, which is a feathered Tyrannosaur. It's slightly smaller than T-Rex. Uh, there's a lot of Triceratops variants we can have. There's other hybrids like Spinoraptor and Spinoceratops. Yeah, th this is a interesting one. <laughs> and Stegoceratops, which is another hybrid. <laughs> a Triceratops with extra horns, Stegosaur plates, and a spiked tail. Yep. The ultimate herbivore. Killing, killing machine. You can have Ovi Raptors. Um, this is another small little uh, scavenger dinosaur. It's kind of like a tiny T Rex, I guess. Very feathered. Um, we can have Indominus Rex, Indoraptor from Fallen Kingdom. Hamasifile, he's so small and cute. The ultimate, the ultimate horny. <laughs> you can say that, yes. Beak says, "Lord." <laughs> this dreadnoughtus. 
There's there's a lot of, there's a lot of different options we have to work with here. Allosaurus. Ankyle duck uh duckus, which is another hybrid. It's basically just an Ankylosaurid Ankylosaurus sauropod. We need to have Tuptis. Duh, what am I thinking? We gotta have Tuptis. Which is this pattern. Alright, so let's go through Tuptis's uh traits. Uh we'll probably keep that neutral. Lifespan be long lived as well. He is very resilient. Tuptus the Great. Humility. Uh which reduces the environmental needs for territory. Uh that's fine. Keep that normal. Uh social. I mean they they are pretty social. He'd be pretty social anyway, but I feel like he should be the only apatosaur we have in the park. It'd be weird to have more. We, we can have other other uh sore pods be with him. But he, he should be the only apatosaur, I think. In this park. We'll make him very tolerant of, of other species. And then his combat, he's gotta be strong. Very defensive. And he's fit. <laughs> I think that's everything. We don't need to really change anything else, I I think, for for this. Feel uncomfortable in groups of their own species. Well, I feel I'll give him hundred percent for social with his own species as well. Even though we probably won't have any other ones in here. Set what to small spaces. Yeah, we'll keep them the same. So I think with that, I believe that is everything. We'll have him be neutral with his appetite. Actually, no. Keep him normal. We might have a large one. <laughs> All right, let's go with that and begin the task. And now other herbivores to have with him in his enclosure. Uh, do, 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 do. We definitely need to go. Malacyphile. Very small, very, very, very tiny. This one's very tiny. Uh, Lystrosaurus, very small. Smaller than Homalocyphalae, I think. So I'm gonna pick Homalocyphalae. And let's see the color combinations that I have for this, because we can make multiple batches. Uh, God, I gotta scroll down here, because it's a lot. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go with. We're gonna go with Yukon River for the starting color. Then we're gonna go with this one, so it's gonna be like a blue. Uh, let's see about your traits. Short lived. Well, I'm keeping you neutral. Sickly. That'd be neutral. I mean, even though you can't get sick. You're small, so you don't really need anything changed. Uh, And they're pretty social. I don't think I need to change anything with that. And I'll make you tolerant. 50% more tolerant. I'll probably keep everything else the same, really. So go with that one, and 
begin a task on that one, and then I'm gonna make a different. Wow, that was instant. Holy. <laughs> All right, then. Modify this genome, and we're gonna make a different colored one, which will be Sonoran Desert with uh, this one. This will be a bit more of like a brownish. I'll probably just keep all the other traits the same. Do that. I also should see like what 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 are they? I'm in population seven. Jeez. <laughs> seven. I only have two very I only have two skin variants for you. What the heck? Well then. Uh next one's gonna be mangrove forest with red so we're gonna have a green a greenish red one same thing we'll just save that begin the task for that one and then modify the genome and then the next color will be champagne value which so it's like a lighter green and then a gray in task okay Massive lay badges synchronized so fast. Now where to put uh this is gonna be like the big tour exhibit. See, you want that to be a square too? Are we really gonna have the have that also be a big square? We'll do like a medium style fence, I guess. Replace off. Okay, guy says yes. No, a hexagon? What the heck? You can't just change the rules. You all said square. A hexagon? What the heck? <laughs> We're going to do a hexagon now. I don't remember how many sides a hexagon is again. Okay, six sides. All right. A hexagon shape it is. Not the fence style. We'll go with this one with, 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 with the blinking red lights on it. Now... I might get rid of uh, this batch of water over here in these sections. I don't think I need these here. Through that, and then uh, remove those rocks because they will cause problems if I'm trying to build. Let's see here. I'm gonna keep some space there for construction stuff. Can you make a janitor's closet uh, where I can hide and scream in? I can. Um, there's something similar to that. The 
core. Um, da, 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 da. Here's the bunker. Or just a park. Or you could be like the, the lawyer and go to the toilet. <laughs> I should maybe put this like... Actually, you know what? I gotta put it on, on the opposite side. So that that way it's like when they're they're done going through the zip line, then they had to use the restroom. Yes, I believe that ended really well for him. Yes, yeah, it was the best place to be. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not an actual functioning restroom. It's just a core. <laughs> Alright, hexagon time. Uh... I just make it like wide enough on all sides at least. And it's waning. That would be... Mm. Actually, would it, it would match, I think. I mean, I'm trying to make sure that they're all, like, the same length. I'm gonna redo this. Nope. That's gate. We don't need that. Okay. Now we go... That. That. I go down straight, down the middle. Do the same thing here. Wait, 
make sure that that's okay. And that. Why is that not going to align? That's slightly off. It's going to go straight to this. That's where it cuts. And that's where that meets. Mm. It's kinda. Not good enough. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> it's this side that's off, I know. This side is off on, on this corner. It's like when it when it connects is like the, the problem. That's a little better. I think. I mean this uh, this side is just gonna be awkward as it is, I think. No matter what. Just put something there to die, and it's fine, nobody's gonna know. But I will. I will know. Jeez, this is going to be quite an enclosure to do a tour in. Alright. Water. <laughs> Gabku, do you approve of, of this? I'm, I'm thinking that O as a... As a that's a very good... <laughs> All right, now for water sections. Just do my new logo because skins are not skinning, so it's so it's nice looking. Ooh, I'm a graphic designer. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, thank you very much. That's awesome. I can't just see your new logo then. You're working on that. I can put water here. I'll probably do like a small pond. There, like a little puddle there. Maybe do one here. And another one. Here. You can make them smaller too if we need. Oh, well, that. There we go. So, like, tiny little, like, puddles. This looks just raised up a bit. Uh, I wonder maybe if I should. Oh, I wonder where that was. I I I think they ate a goat. <laughs> that sounded like like a nasty growl. We're gonna go to environment, uh, terrain. Like raise this terrain maybe a little bit.
something like that. So this section's a little bit raised versus the rest. I think you can't can't solve the pony ride. Just ran a pony ride around the enclosure. <laughs> Get your pony rides here. I gotta smooth this out a little bit too. And that's fine the way it is, I think. Just smooth that part out. There we go. Alright. Now attractions. This is where we, we can do park tour. We can do the gyro station. Jurassic tour, which is the Jurassic World uh, one. We can do classic... Uh, we could do the classic tour for the gyrosphere. So if I have We have this, uh, here, and we gotta make the, the track for it. So go like that, uh, do this, along this way. I can have them wrap around. Batch of uh, this lake here. From this little pond. You think you finished it? Hey, awesome. Trying to keep some sections clear because I want to have some trees in here for them. We'll go to like this, but then we'll have them wrap around there. And I'll go through here. And they'll connect back. So there's the path for the gyro station. You can do that. They connected. And there goes the gyrospheres. <laughs> but there's no dinosaurs in here for you to see. There's nothing. I'm sorry. <laughs> you put some trees in here. Trees along there. Got some trees in the middle, too. Heck yeah. Um, and I was saying you need to include items that the herbivores like to eat. But I also should add maybe some extra environment stuff in here. Uh, like decor. Um, like what? It's like a storage area we could do. We have a trailer. We have a sh shack. I, I think is this? No, it's not. Do they have Owens? Do they have Owens shack? I don't think they do. Do they? It's a container. I don't. I don't know if they do. 
storage shack. We could add a tent in here. People make people think that that, that they camp. <laughs> Can I tense in? And you know what? I'm gonna do the same thing again. We always love to have sand along the water. Yes. Give me a bunch of sand. The section will be... Well, sand? Is there another other trees I can put in there? This bit? Nope, that's it? Okay. We'll have that section be sand then. Burp. And this part be dirt. Just that part. <laughs> glass ponies. Yeah, these are glass ponies. Yeah. And you know what? You can drive one too. We. Da 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 da. <laughs> Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Boop. Ah, water. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put dirt. Come on here. Whatever if we should have like the whole path along it be dirt. Actually let's increase the radius of this. And this whole path of the gyrosphere just be dirt. There we go. Eh. And maybe change this part to rock. A little bit of sand here. Actually dirt. Rock here. There we go. Rock along this. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> you gotta go. I'll be back later. All right, Fizz. Be safe. Have fun. I'm kind of went went off track there. I'm. I may have, but 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 they'll go back on course. Believe me. Believe me, they will. Okay. We need to add in. Maybe we could do we could do different kind of rocks for this. Maybe like temperate ones. Do they have like moss on them?
Yeah, they do. They kind of have moss on them. I like that. Um, but actually, not for that section, because I'm thinking I'm going to put... I'm going to put a tent here. Can I... Aw, uh, what? Terrain constraints? What? It's not even... Oh, okay, wait. Well, what if I slightly reduce this water? Try and make this. That should hopefully be fine, but uh, if I need to add a tiny bit more water, maybe that should hopefully do the trick. Now let's go to the core. Give me this tent again. Yay! Now I can place this tent. I don't know which side is. Do it there. <laughs> and then, uh, give me more sand. Place this with sand. Maybe this section can. It's kind of dirt texture. A tiny bit of sand along that. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I also need to get the trees and uh, whatnot in here for them. I could probably put some other rocks too down in here. It's an alpine rock. I like that a lot. That looks good. And the ones on uh, let's look at some temper one, uh, or smaller temper one. One there. We'll have... That one there. Or else can I add in some more do, 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 do variation of terrain? Do rock on that section here. Do the best way to get to see our incredible dinosaurs up 
Here, do a tiny bit. Some more sand. And then wherever else I need to just add in the uh, food for them. So I believe with that, let's go and grab Tuptus. Actually, while we're also here, I need to see what it, it is that he likes again. Tall Leaf. A tall Leaf. Do, 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 which would I go with Ginkgo, I th I believe. I'll put some of that there. that be where this is kind of like where he primarily like will eat maybe clear out that section there maybe include a bit uh do, 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 do. that's ground leaf and tough Tall leaf, maybe add uh, this here. Two. So these kind of trees here. As well to eat. Put a batch there. Include a batch. There. And then what is Hemalocyphile like to eat? Here, scroll down. You like ground for ground fiber. Okay, so I just need to add some ground fiber in. is this. I'll add you in on here. Uh, add bits of it here. Bits of it here. 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 I'm there. I'm here. Okay. That should hopefully suffice. All right. Are we ready to release a uh, top dust once I select the egg? I believe this both might be the same thing. Yeah, they're both the same thing. Oh my god, four, 15 seconds? That's amazing. And I'm also like, oh my god, libel eggs. 10 out of 10. 
10 out of 10. That's amazing. Okay. Are we ready to see uh, top this? We're ready to release him to the park. About lack of amenities. I'm, I'm. I will work on that eventually. That's not the main priority right now. Put this dirt around here. Yeah, we're ready. Sounds good. Sounds good. Setting into this batch of dirt around. Up to there. Okay. We are ready. Adoptus. Release him. Is majestic. This massive specimen is called the Apatosaurus, an impressive animal that can intimidate even the most determined of predators. The Apatosaurus's evolutionary advantages are its size and its demeanor. Yeah. Dubtus the Great. Yeah. <laughs> he is now a part of this park. Continue to home, Tuptus. Oh. <laughs> and typical Tuptus fashion, he needs to lay down. <laughs> Already he is tired. Not much to look at from here. <laughs> for you. And it's gonna get up. You shall go tranquilize him. Yeah. There's Brownie. And there's Buttercup. Alright, you two. Have fun. Enjoy. Off we go to find Tuptus. There he is. Alright, buddy, I'm sorry I gotta do this, but it has to be done. I might need to hit you like five times. Is that enough? It is. <laughs> Pull that off, jeez. <laughs> Take a screenshot of his tranquilized state. <laughs> okay. No, we're not selling him. <laughs> Damn, I know, right? We deliver him to his new home. What else can I add in here as well? Some like shrubs along here. Oh, that got rid of.
think I got rid of part of his food that I just had placed there. Hang on. Asset has been collected. Big tree. Big tree for Tuptis. And he's off. Fast forward it. He comes. All right. Delivery has been completed. Yeah. Welcome to your new home, Top this. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's panicking. <laughs> I'm panicking. Oh, it's amazing seeing him by this tent just for size comparison. Oh, and he's already eating. But there's like nothing there for you to. I mean, there's a, there's these trees here, but is that what you're eating? These were tall leaf, apparently. But I believe we have it set to where. Uh... What is it? There's no escapes. I was going to say this off, we'll, we'll set down to comfort time percent all the time. So there we go. So we don't need to add in more for him, so he'll he'll be content. So that way I don't, I don't need to add in a bunch of extra details to make him happy. I figured just adding in batches of what he likes to eat in certain spots is will be good for him. I should probably add another, another decor to this. Maybe like, uh, ooh, this like wooden crate or like supply piles. Add that there. Actually, no. Yeah, I'll leave that there. I'll leave that there. But he's now in his new home. And I have to get the Homalocyphilae. And while we're at it, I could do another, uh, batch of it. Modify the genome. Alright, baby T-Rex is small enough to jump onto your back. Uh, they would be, yes. Yeah, it, it, it'd be big enough. Well, like, it would, it would depend on the size of it. If it feels like a juvenile, then yes. A baby one, probably not. But juvenile size, maybe. But they did have the baby one, uh, kill somebody in the Lost World movie. He was old, he was old enough to do that, at least. Okay, let's see what other, like, color options that I haven't done with Hamalocyphilae. Uh, so we've done Yukon River, uh, Sonoran, Sonoran Desert, uh, Mangrove Forest, and Champlain Valley. So we've been done Death Valley, Great Sandy Desert, uh, Solar del um, Huesco, which is that's just like a brown variant. We could do a white variant. We could do we 
We do Gilliam Mountains. With Lithobites. I'm just writing this um, down in my notes. While we're at it. I thought I had had more variants available f that I had written down for Hermione Syphilae, but I guess I didn't focus on that one as much. Oh, you know what I should put in with uh, Buttercup and um, Brownie? We sh I could put in um, copies in with, with them. And basically, the genome, I believe, is still the same. So I'll do that. All right. I'm just, I'm just going to just do one egg of each. Because they're all the same cosmetic. Apparently, you have no traits manifested, but these ones did. Docile, tolerant, nocturnal, docile, tolerant. Tolerant. I'm gonna say that one. Oh, this one. The Sonoran Desert. Uh, you have Tolerant Nocturnal. Looks like it has the same stuff. Uh, I might just do a default for this one. Make your personality slightly different. Then we'll do... Yeah, all these have the same traits, don't they? Well, that's... This, this one's... These are just tolerant. This one's docile. I could do... I could do a docile one. Or... I'll do a docile one. And then... What do you have? Tolerant, tolerant... Tolerant. Yeah, do that. Oh, it's amazing having this. I love that. The accelerated growth makes it so much better. Okay. Oh, this one's ready for incubation, too. Um, what do you have? Tolerant, nocturnal. Maybe I'll make one of them nocturnal. Since this, since this, yeah, I'll make this one uh, nocturnal. Give you a slightly different personality. Okay. So, shall we r release uh, Amalocyphile for the very first time in this game, I believe? You guys get to see cute little Amalocyphile. And they will be joining uh, Duptus. Or, as Gabku says uh, in Polish, Duptus. And while I'm at it, uh, give this place slightly more personality. Actually, no, I'm going to make this just dirt. And then sand and batches. Do it around that. Okay. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna go with this one first since this was the first one we did, so let's uh see Homalo Cephale. Oh, look at him. 
Look how cute! This flat-headed dinosaur, the Homolocephaly, is <laughs> unassuming, and perhaps even cute to some. But let's also stay on top of the science. We can learn a lot from a little. Look how cute! I I I, I love this coloration. Having kind of like, like the dark blue, and then adding um the orange cret the orange on the crest. Along with like the uh, like cyan for like his markings, I thought it was a really good color choice to to, to use. I'm gonna release uh, the other ones as well, so we can see their colors. So then we'll go down the list one by one. Oh, this one's orange. Yeah. Look how cute! And have and has a little white uh, on its crest, which I also, I I liked the little touch of the the white. Adorable. Adorable. So um, massively has a good wide range of colors. So now let's release the third one. Which is green! Yeah! It's got a little yellow and, and brown on the crest and then... Just like, uh, brownish markings... Along his back and tail. But he is clean. Adorable. Yes, clean. This little guy can blend in pretty well with the environment. Hey, <laughs> hearing Buttercup and Brownie off in the distance. And now for the fourth. Another green, but just a darker variant. It's, it's kind of like a, like a greenish brown. Like, or a, a brownish, a brownish green, with the white, uh, marking on the crest. Adorable. Very, very cute. And now we're going to release the newest edition. Ah. Is white with with green. Adorable. This is the one that that's um, nocturnal, I believe. Yep. They like to be nocturnal. Main toy toy boy is lonely. But they do require a minimum of seven, so we need to. I want to make a couple more. I gotta modify their genomes as well. So, what else have we not chosen in terms of. Uh, skin combinations? We go. Uh, have we done Gambia yet? We have not. We could, we could go... with Gambia River. So this will be a blue one. I'm also writing this down. Just for future reference. Gambia River... Uh, basin, and then pattern color. Let's see, we've done little bites already. We've done this one. We've done the papuron. We've done the red one. We've kind of done all of the markings. I could make this a plain pattern one, but uh, let's see. 
Maybe I could do the blue with the red. See how that looks. So we'll do that one, and then the last one. I could do maybe Great Sandy Desert. I wonder if I should make them one of them plain. Just to have one that's like not one that one that to be different and it doesn't it doesn't have markings on it, just to give it uh have it be unique versus the rest. Um Or should I go with maybe I go with like the brown version of it? I'll go with the brown version and just have it be um plain pattern. No pattern at all. And we'll see how it looks. So I'm making this as blank pattern and Lar del uh Okay. Same thing. And in task. Okay. Select egg. On time, basically. Uh, I'll do that. And then for you, they're probably the same. They're all the probably, they're all gonna be the same thing. Uh, I'm just gonna make you just be have no specific traits. Okay. All right. We shall now see the um designs for these two little guys. So let's release them. Ooh. Ah. Oh, it's definitely more of a green. Look at him. Adorable. I like that the especially with the yellow on the crest it 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 works a lot with with this coloration. Cute. Oh, are they going to socialize? They can do. Ah. <laughs> They're very vocal. I like this orange one a lot. With the yellow. Oh. Give drink. Look at them. Cute. And now let's release the last one. Aw. That's cute. Yeah, it's just like a it's just like like a brown one. It, but I do like the touch that the crest is still as a, as a different color. That works. I, 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 I like that a lot. Cute. And they're content because they have all their minimum population required. Which is adorable. But we need to get these guys moved over to Tuctus's location. And I may just have uh, the catcher team do this. Oh, look, look at that. They have seven tasks that, that they can do. I will have them uh, tranquilize these guys.
That's six. Where's... I'm missing one. I am missing one. There we go. So I'll take care of that. Place force around this. Let's see what else I can do. Uh, maybe... Add dirt along this pathway. I appreciate the contrast between the, the green and the brown. Oh, and they're tranquilizing them. Oh, I can't see you. You're just you're just in the grass. I wonder if there's any like decor that I can add to the hatchery specifically that would be suitable for it. A watchtower. That would be a nice feature. Which way would it be like facing though is the question. Uh there's like a window there. Window there. I'd probably say. About there. There you go. It's like a little watchtower location that could watch over. <laughs> and they're all tranquilized, I believe. Yes. Okay. Time to transport. One. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Finalize. Move you over to. <laughs> Brownie Buttercup, no. <laughs> Move you over to here along this path. Collecting asset. Picking up asset. Acknowledging asset collection request. Request there. acknowledged. To your new home, you go. Anything else I can. Add decor rise for this place. Ooh, they even have the Trussoraptor cages from Dominion? That's... God. Trailer office. Uh, storage shack, maybe. That could probably be a good... idea. Um, I like the idea of having, like, cages. Maybe have those by the ranger team. Might be more suitable for the ranger team location. I want to include the T-Rex one, because that's very nostalgic and very cool. And I feel like this section needs to be, um, flattened out a little bit. Raise this a little bit more. Okay, that, that might be a little much. Let's 
smoothing this out now. smoothing it out. Hope you're all enjoying this. I I, I sure am. <laughs> it's nice to be able to just relax, chill, not have to worry about any um anything going wrong, whether it's weather or the dinosaur ha like happiness uh, requirements. I we could just chill and, and just create a park. However we want. Asset transported. That's just transported? Hey! They've arrived. They're starting to, at least. So cute! It'll be fine. You, you, you're the rest, the rest of your family is coming. I wonder what our Yeah, I I I know that's not great right now. Uh How is the dots of visibility? 50% right now. I could also we could also add other alternative ways to view dinosaurs in this enclosure. Like viewing platforms and whatnot or the domes if we need to. How you talk this? You enjoying your your home? Taking a drink? Yeah, big boy. He's having fun. Good. Oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna move you over. <laughs> I'm sorry. Get out of my way. They call me the great for a reason. <laughs> Transporting asset. Yeah, they're starting to transport the rest of the uh, Hamel, um, the Hamel Cephalae over. But I'm going back to this location. And let's add some of these cages. The T-Rex one from Lost World is iconic. Um, I wonder if... Asset has been transported. Remove some foliage along this section over here. Let's see. I need to also like plan this terrain out a bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna add some of the cages in here. Nope, that's not it. TRX one. Oh, even has a light on it for the for nighttime. That's great. Really? That increased? Then they gave it? They made like a little m mound, a little hill for it. I don't. I didn't want that. Uh. Do, 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 do. Plan that out. Hopefully, that shouldn't change it again. Asset 
Okay, there it is. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh wait, uh, I gotta I gotta move it around to this side. Make sure that's aligned up with. Or I can have it be at a slight angle. Asset has been delivered. There. So, like this part right here in the front, that's where the um. The head would be, and then and then the tail would come out of the back end here. We'll add a couple other cages as well for different dinosaurs too. Um, let's see. There's a Stegosaur one that was in Lost World. There's an Indoraptor. Oh my God, that's a bigger cage than the T-Rex one. Taller. You get the Velociraptor one. Run Jurassic Park as well. I'll put a storage shack as well here. There. Makes sense. And then do, 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 do the boss raptor cage. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to remember which way was the. Oh wait, this this side's the back because there's the ladder. I see the ladder uh, steps on the back of it. So I'll angle it like so. Maybe move it. Move it over slightly. That should work. And then, um, I can do the Stegosaur one. I could also add, like, some pl supply stuff here. In a construction crane. Or maybe we'll have that in the park somewhere. Concrete barrier. There's so there's so many that there's just so many options to choose from. That's it's like really difficult to Pick and choose sometimes. We'll have uh, this tent. Maybe. A maintenance cover. Was that from Jurassic World? Maybe. No, that no, that's, that's DPG. It's got DPG logo on it. Uh, that's a DFW. No, that's DFW. A large wood crate. Let's 
I'll do a blue and white container. Do, 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 do. It's like a sword gauge. Now, which way was the door? This is the door. They'll have. Angle like that. That works. And then we'll do the supply piles. Uh, do, do. Supply pile, supply pile. There we go. That one there. That one there. I, I, I love this. It gives a lot, it gives a lot more life to the environment when you have these. Then we'll do like a blue container. Maybe on this side. Matter which side the leave this side. That's how I beat the front. Oop. Oh, it's just it that looks awesome. Now let's see how you are doing. You're sleeping. <laughs> well, you're content then. Are you all sleeping? Nope, you're not. There's the moon in the background. I, I love these little guys so much. Ow. Oh, cute. I think I should add some rocks to this uh, cliff. Environment. I had this one already in this closure, don't I? Somewhere. I have that. No, I don't have it in this enclosure yet. Started by path, it's too close. Of course it is. The only downside of having these dinosaurs in here now is that it could be difficult to place things. Oh yeah, I could have this like go off as like a it's like a peak point. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's like a tiny little like fried. Oh my god! Wait, it kind of looks like Tuptus. Ah, oh, that's amazing. It's Tuptus Rock. That's incredible. <laughs> it's it's kind of it it has like the like a patasaur head. That's what it'll be called, toughest rock. The toughest stone. Yes, it's toughest rock. It resembles him. So, so people get to drive by this and see it. I could also maybe add what you would call it. Is there like an apatosaur? There's the brachiosaurus sign. That's like a herbivore. Herbivore enclosure marker. I can add that to this enclosure. I don't think there's one specifically for a patasaurus though. Classic attraction banner, there's a like world attraction banner. If W There's a banner Dome Lagoon banners Lagoon Aviary, there's a like world banner. I can even add I can even add banners in here too. Uh, I guess I'll go with the herbivore marker and have it at the start. Probably. Uh, let's see if I can switch the angle. So there. If I just like ride, uh, oops, switch vehicle, please. Just top this. Oh no, <laughs> his tail. No, top this. Wait, no, no. <laughs> Oh, look how small him Simply is. Can I? All right, I'm gonna drive one. I'm gonna switch the camera just so I can see the first person view. Okay, so like they 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 would see the sign there. Each vehicle is surrounded by aluminum oxynitrate glass and the Okay. That's great. I, lo I, I love that a lot. That's, that's so good. <laughs> if I added planters, planter foliage to, to the enclosure. It's a park banner. The world banners yellow they have green banners as well yellow ones red ones blue ones probably should add How close can I get to it? Pretty darn close. Glean, yes, glean. We're gonna add it to this enclosure. Oh, good. I, I can't put one here too. Uh, I gotta make sure that it kind of lines up. Is 
the Bajir. Uh, it's pretty darn close. That one definitely is a place a bit further behind. Let's leave that. Let's see. Okay, so if I try to like align this up with the other one. This is going to be something to learn throughout this series is with the sandbox mode is trying to get decorations to match up properly. That's pretty darn close. That's good, I think. Nice. Thank, thank you, Week. Thank you very much. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> we haven't even built any amenities for our guests yet. It's just like, yeah, I'm just focused on the dinosaurs right now. I don't care about the guests. Just making the enclosures interesting. Part of you, young man. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. That makes me so happy. Hey, <laughs> Yon. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm not epic. <laughs> what, what, what are my gifts? What's up with that? There's a park sign. Looks cool. I want to do something fancy as well with Buttercup and Brownie. Oh, what was that? Was that a little, like, happy purr to, to, to your lady? Oh, a couple that drinks together stays together. Oh, that's, I've never seen that animation before. That's a new one. Oh. Yeah, I figured why not stop and, and see the Rexes again. You want to smooch? <laughs> Let's switch to Brownie. Keeping her eye on Buttercup. Very sweet. <laughs> oh, your tail's in the way. Oh, they're both gonna roar now. I want to have maybe... What do we call it? Where is it? Uh... Here we go. I could have this. Oh, I could go right over this this zip line part. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> At the Game Master, like Can Cretaceous. Yes, it is. The, the zip line, yes. But it's over T-Rexes. <laughs> that, I, I'm, I, I love all the decorations that they've added for this game. Because I believe a lot of them are from... Uh, it was... Last year was the 30th anniversary for Dress Up Park. 
and I believe they add a lot of the decor from from the movie in, into the game once that anniversary happened. Also going to include a T-Rex sign here. Or I could add it there and then add one here on the opposite side. So they replace that one, I think. Oh, you gave it to a first person view. <gasps> oh, I can literally walk. I can walk through the park. That's awesome. Ooh. Wait. Oh, I can even enter the building view too while you're in first person. That's Amazing, and then ride the zip line. Oh my god, we can actually like experience and walk through the park. Is there an option uh, for for a camp? There are um, tents. Uh, decor. There's like this tent. Uh, there's this large tent, which is from, uh, Lost World, I believe. There's an option for a camp that, that's intense. <laughs> Weak. <laughs> that was great. That was a good one. I'm gonna add that there. I'm gonna move this one a bit closer. Hmm. There's something off they might be. And then I make sure that this one... What's that? But then that one, that one feels too close. I'm being, I'm being very picky on this. I'm gonna demolish both and we're gonna redo it. Alright. And then the opposite side. I believe that should be good. That should be fine. What a fiend for the T-Rex. Am I new to this game? I am not actually. Um, we have goat feeders for the T-Rex. So they will eat the live goats. Oh, what are they doing? <laughs> They're walking together. Ah, oh, sweet. So they will chase around and, and eat the goats. Um, but I am not new to this game, no. I've played, uh, both, uh, this one and the first Jurassic World Evolution game. I have named them, yes. 
there named Buttercup and Brownie. Brownie's the uh, the female TRX from the, from the Lost World, and then Buttercup is the male, the, the male buck. Gab Gabku is the one who named both of them. Oh, she's gonna hunt. She's going for the goat. Ah, the tree's in the way. Well, there we go. At least I got to eat. <laughs> see her eat a goat. <laughs> Cute names are dangerous dinosaurs. Exactly. Exactly. That's the, that's the point. I need to get rid of these rocks. Not a fan of those. We'll, I'll have to work on and adding more decor to Brownie and Buttercup's uh, enclosure. Maybe add some other rock variants in here as well. Mix things up a bit for them. Perfect match. He did ballet. She was a punk. Yes. Oh, are you gonna? Are you gonna? Ah. <laughs> there they go again. <laughs> I love this animation so much. That's amazing animation. They just love each other. We have this here now. Um, like how the zip line goes over the T-Rex pin. Yeah. And I have it perfectly diagonal from corner to corner. <laughs> It's the only way that, that that they can view and see them. I'm not, I don't need to add a viewing dome in here or anything, because... The visibility covers pretty much the entire closer, except for... These two corners, but they're generally in this vicinity. And then I have Tuptus the Great. Our... Magnificent Apatosaurus. And he's here with uh, about seven Hamalocyphilae. And they're all different uh, color variants as well. So I got this brown one, uh, this like blue one, like greenish blue. This white one is nocturnal. <laughs> They like the they, li they like to be active at night, not during the day. So, this one sleeps during the day. Got this green one. Another green one. It's, that's more vibrant. This orange one is eating. Cute. And then there's this like dark blue. Which one is the, uh, Alpha? Ah, you are. You're the, you're the leader of the group. You didn't need to share that paragliding area on the mountain if it's an option? Unfortunately, I believe that's not. That'd be awesome if they included that. I don't think it is, though. There's aviary, aviary, aviary Viewing Gallery for the Aviaries, Lagoon, I guess Attractions, which is our either like our, an arcade, movie theater, Research Outpost from uh, the Biosyn Valley, they have the Amphitheater from Lost World you can add in, literally. It's pretty huge. But I don't think they have a paragliding one, unfortunately. The, the zip line they they added in from Camp Contagious, but not the paragliding. But that should be an option. Green, yes, green. And I feel like we should have names as well for um these little guys too. Like we should try to come up with names for like all the dinosaurs. Um. Trying to see like 
What other decor can I add to the T-Rex area? I can add like the red banners. Um, <laughs> you can have a big pile of shit. That, that's a big pile of shit. <laughs> it's actually a decoration. <laughs> that's amazing. Aw. <laughs> I didn't notice that that was a thing. We can have bins, benches, sun loungers even if we want. You should name the Alpha Rebel. For the Hamalocyphalae? Call you Rebel? <laughs> Gabku loved the pile of shit. Should I include this in uh, Buttercup and Brownie's enclosure, the pile of shit? Or should I save that for... Actually, you know what? I may save that for a much bigger dinosaur. Probably for like an even larger sauropod. Like Dreadnoughtus, maybe. If we do use Dreadnoughtus. Plus he has a T-Rex skeleton if we wanted. I think that might be a little bit overkill though. Can't have umbrellas open and close. That's amazing. They thought of everything, practically. I mean, two archways would be a bit much. This is perfect enough. And the dinosaurs ruled the earth. That's that that that's a great one. Make a museum of dinosaur skeletons. That would be great because they only have. There's the T-Rex one from the visitor center um, main lobby. The the Amalosaur one that was in the main lobby. Yeah, the Spinosaur Skeleton from Jurassic World. There's also like a one like with, with the skull. The only other uh, skeleton in this game is the Indominus Rex one, but you can only use that in Lagoons. And it'd be underwater. You know, the raptor rat 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 paddock from the first movie. Uh, over by my ranger team area. I've added in uh, the stegosaur cage from the Lost World. The TRX cage from the Lost World. And the raptor cage from Dr Dresser Park. Along with some supply. A pile of supplies. Little s storage. Shack, a blue container. To make this kind of be more, bit more lively, we have the Dresser Park Jeeps. And we have the engine copter from Lost World. And then for this enclosure, we have the Gyrosphere. What's the visibility for this? Yeah, it's not full visibility. It does capture a good, um, a good fair amount of it, though. Get raptors and name... I could make the raptor squad. I could do that. Uh, do, 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 do. We can make Indominus Rex and Indoraptor. So we've got a Velociraptor. We can have 
Blue, Charlie, Delta, Echo. There's also the Raptors from 1993 from Jurassic Park. Uh, this is the male variant from Jurassic Park 3. Then this this is the tiger female from Lost World, tiger male from Lost World. Actually, maybe actually A might be the male from Jurassic Park Three for two thousand one, and then this might be the female for Jurassic Park Three. But we could make the Raptor Squad. I would need to also find a place to put them in. Which I'm, I'm maybe I, I could have them be by uh, Buttercup and Brownie. Have them maybe be in this section. I'm not gonna need a large paddock for them since they're small. Oh, I want to make copies. I think because I mentioned about doing that and having them be in this enclosure with Buttercup and Brownie. Do blue? I'll make blue. Get blue. You can also change her traits for her genome. Uh, I keep everything for life, everything for them kind of the same. Uh, they're pretty resilient though. So I can make blue very resilient. Uh, lifespan, maybe about 50%. You make her smart? Uh, I can increase basically just kind of sociability. Uh, let's see what was, this reduces the rate of health loss from dehydration. That, that, that's just normal. Appetite is just how hungry they get. This increases lifespan, but we have unlimited uh, lifespan for the dinosaurs in there, so, so they won't die anyway. So resilience we've increased. Uh, now, now this is the social portion of it. Um, so this humidity is that ad adapting to small spaces, like small enclosures. Uh, she'd be fine though, so I wouldn't need to change that sociability, which would be increasing. Rates for her own species, uh, definitely make her 100% social. Raptors are social creatures, and tolerance for raptors are pretty low. Raptors contain other species. I might just keep that neutral. You need to jump off Gabku to take a shower? Okay, sounds good. Thank you for stopping in, Gabku, I appreciate it. I I may end stream relatively. I, I might I might stream for like an, almost another hour. I think I could probably do it. We're having fun. We're just chilling. What I can increase for her is her offense, defense, and fitness. So I'm gonna increase her offense to 100 percent, defense 100 percent, her fitness 100 percent. Her tolerance. Uh, the dinosaurs, the alpha, this genetic modification increases the, the amount of overlap the dinosaur is willing to tolerate while reducing the chance of attacking ranger teams. Hmm. She already, she already would be smart, though, since she's a raptor. There's nothing to, like, inc increase intelligence for this. Th these are the only options we get for... Modifications, apparently. And fast. The Raptors would all be the same speed. Um, that we that we can change. I can I can only increase uh, attack damage and defense, and her stamina. So these are a hundred percent increase. Intolerance is just for her being able to. Deal with other species. Which probably would keep neutral at 75%. I 
Actually, I might make her a bit more tolerant. Might make her more tolerant because her personality is different. Do you have Toro? I do not, but we could do Toro as well. Toro is the, for those who don't know, Toro is the, uh, Carnotaurus from, uh, Hank Cretaceous, which is, um, an animated series on Netflix that added, like, a little extra lord to Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. Toro would be cool to have. So if I increase her tolerance, her cost goes up. I'm... I might make her like 50% chance of being tolerant. Watch like 15 times? Dang. That's amazing. Nah. I, I watched all of Care Cretaceous as well. And I would definitely be watching uh, Chaos Theory when that comes out. It'd be nice to see new dinosaurs be introduced into the franchise through it. And see what else they, see what else they, they could do with uh, Post Fallen Kingdom Dominion. It'd be nice for them to do extra things. You're very excited? Hey, awesome. Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give Blue 50% chance of being tolerant. And then the rest, uh... I guess I have 5% chance of having a long life. Even though... Then I'll save and exit, and then we'll... Begin the task for that. And now let's make, uh... Charlie. Nope. Uh, I need to modify Charlie's genome. I want to have the same traits as Blue. No, make you less. Make you like 75%. <laughs> uh, I may decrease your social trait to 50%. And I might keep your intolerance bad to normal, like for the default is. And then slightly decrease. Uh, Charlie. Uh, I'm trying to remember how Charlie dies. Spoiler alert. <laughs> in, in Jurassic World. Uh, how did Charlie die? Was Charlie the one that got blown up by the rocket? I remember. I gotta look this up. Charlie, Charlie. Charlie Velociraptor. Oh, uh, I saw it, I saw it come up. Uh, death. Charlie's one of the raptors that was trained. She got blown up. Yeah, she got blown up by the rocket. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna honestly make your. I'm gonna give you like no chance of like getting uh extra strength. Uh, defense. Yeah, same thing. I wonder if you, if you could get E750, uh, you can.
I will give you 50% chance of being fit because the raptors are pretty fit. Say five percent chance. Actually, you know, I'm gonna have Charlie be fifty. Uh, have that be zero. Tolerance be normal. Fifty percent chance with social. Or actually, yeah. I ain't gonna lower your resilience down <laughs> to Charlie because you weren't the most resilient one. Uh, I'm gonna make you be at zero for that. I'll keep you alone at that 50% though. Okay, so that'll be Charlie's genome. Next is. Delta. Which I believe she was second in command to Blue. And she and she's the one that kills Vic Hoskins. Uh she's the second oldest of the of the Raptors. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Delta is extremely aggressive. He's the most dangerous false raptor. Engine ever cloned? Jeez. Uh, da, 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 da. History. So she is. She was second in command, yes, because of her age. Okay. So I'll increase your chance of lawn life up. I'll make you 75% chance of getting resilience. Uh, I'll keep your social chance at 50. Intolerance at 100%. <laughs> How do you play this game? Uh, it's basically a park simulator uh, builder. So you would create the dinosaurs um, normally in like a regular gameplay you would um, have scientists that you'd have to use in order to do tasks like these. Um, whether, whether it's doing research for attractions, for building upgrades, for um, Getting dinosaur DNA, going to extraction sites to dig up fossils. You'd have scientists to take those responsibilities, and you'd have to like rest them in their staff center, or else they could sabotage your park by either like removing, uh, turn off the power, and you had to reboot everything, or they would like open the gates and allow all the dinosaurs to escape. I'm gonna increase uh, your strength chance up to 75%. Defense to 75%. Fit to be 100%. Uh, yeah, after Delta would be Echo. I believe this should be good for Delta. She's apparently the most aggressive one out of them, so I'm making her 100% intolerant. Alright. And then... Last one would be... Echo. Echo, I think, was the... Was Echo the youngest? Or was that Charlie? She's the third oldest, so Charlie is the youngest of the four. So I gotta, I gotta release them in order. So Blue first, Delta second, Echo third, Charlie fourth. Anything specific about Echo that I need to know? Uh, let me see.
History, third oldest when she was born and printed on her. Yep. She battled blue for control, but, but, but lost. Apparently she was nicknamed Elvis by handlers. Or were able to communicate. Uh, how did. Delta was the one that was uh, thrown into the steakhouse grill. Oof. Echo was snatched and got and got just got tossed away. Ugh. Poor Delta. That was a rough way to go out with the grill. Alright, so 50% chance of lawn life. Make you somewhat less resilient than Delta was. Keep the social the same. Uh, I didn't say that you were as aggressive. I'll, I'll keep her intolerance at default because they did try to fight blue for dominance. Fifty percent. Keep them hundred percent for the for that. Okay. So they're ready to be incubated at least for the eggs. So we're only selecting one egg each. So aggressive. So fifty. So fifty hundred percent dominance. Dislikes and friends are the species. Twenty percent chance of dominance. Thirty-five percent chance. What's forty percent chance for in, for dominance? For being tolerant. What do I play this game on? I'm playing this on my PC. I'm playing this on Steam. It's available, yeah, yeah, Jurassic World Evolution is a bit too is available on consoles and PC. So I'm playing on my PC. Thanks, not a problem. Uh trying to see what eggs uh so this one this one's blue, right? I believe this one's blue. Yes, this one's blue. Which one is Delta? That's Charlie. I need to look at Delta's. Okay, so intolerant, intolerant, defensive, tolerant, long with fit, resilient. I might go with this one. Nocturnal prefers to sleep in the day. I'm gonna probably go with this one. So I'll go with that for Delta. Blues. So what's this one do? Social tolerant, nocturnal. Uh, I can't. I can't have blue be nocturnal. This might be the best one. No, that's also nocturnal. Really? Are these all nocturnal? Ah! I cannot have you be no nocturnal. Are all of them also? Well, this one doesn't have nocturnal. I can have blue be aggressive. Because she needs to be the leader of, of the group. I can't have Delta be the leader. So I'm going to go with this one for blue. And this one is for Charlie. Oh boy, all of yours have uh, reasons. Uh, I don't need you to be aggressive or intolerant. 
What's this? Just intolerant. Uh, long lived. I might go with this one for Charlie. I'm not going to go for anything insane. I could do... But this has aggressive in it. I don't want that to happen. Uh, hmm. What about echoes? Long lived, <laughs> long lived fit. I could just do that. I'll do that. Just long lived and fit. For echo. All right, Charlie. Rar X Steve. <laughs> Welcome back, Fizz. Welcome back. It looks super fun. It, it this is a lot of fun. Sandbox is a lot more fun because you don't have the stress of having to worry about contracts or having to meet all of your dinosaurs' needs. And if if their needs aren't met, they will start to attack the fences and escape and potentially attack your guests. Sandbox, it's just oh, zen. Might just go this one for Charlie. They're all going to be ready to be released, but I need to make their paddock first. Are you live on anything else? I am not. Only on YouTube. Um, I do have a Instagram, which is at SireBuilds. Uh, that, that is where like I would... Um, I have post... I do Minecraft content as well, apart from uh, playing Dark World Evolution 2. I plan to do a variety of content, but I mainly do Minecraft content. Um, so Sire Builds, my Instagram, that's where I uh, share announcements of my streams, uh, any photos I take, uh, any builds that I do. I do have a Twitch, but I don't use it. Which is also at Sire Builds. But I mainly just stream on YouTube. And Fridays I stream Minecraft, Saturdays I stream... Wrestle World Evolution. And... I may start streaming three times a week now, because people voted for me to do that. So I, I may do, like, a stream on Tuesday, Wednesday, depending on, like, schedule, like, what I'm doing, I guess. And then that way I can stream um, other games as well that I want to play, or just more Minecraft content. It depends, really. Now to do the paddock for the raptors. Follow me on Instagram. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, all my socials are linked in the in the description. Uh, if you want to check check that out, we also have a I also have a Discord server where I do uh, announce future content on there as well. If you want to follow me on that too, you can. Emote power, visibility. Is there a difference between doing that? Huh. Not sure. Uh, oh. Interesting. Okay. Why would I need to look at the v at, at like, uh, that for, for this? <laughs> I'm placing a fence. Sabox is like the best thing ever. It is. I absolutely love it. Um, alright. Let's 
so for the raptors. I wonder if I should have them be near the hatchery. Make an enclosure down here, maybe. Maybe like in this opening area, I can have their enclosure be. I kind of want to have... I'm kind of being semi-accurate to Jurassic World, uh, the movie, kind of not, in terms of the layout. Uh, I want to have them be away from everybody else. Hmm. I feel like this would be a good spot for them. I have a ranger team over here. Must have put another ranger team on this side. Which I could. Yeah, I'll 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 build the enclosure for them here. Uh do, 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 and have it be kind of accurate to how it is in Jurassic World. So I have to have a lot of open space, a lot of, like, dirt, tents and stuff everywhere. Uh... So let's... It's not going to be the exact same shape of the paddock that they have, but just something similar to that effect. Do that. Have it kind of go down the middle like that. Might need to adjust this one. Nope, that's a path. That's not fence. I kind of did the same thing with this. That. Have this go down the middle. I can need a big enclosure for them. Uh, do, 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 do. Probably that. Actually, yeah, I should make this a bit smaller. Then I'm gonna do...
that. Do that. And get rid of the, these bits. Uh, how does that look? It kind of works, doesn't it? Make like a like a octagon. <laughs> I did a hexagon one. Octagon. Uh, that's eight sides. I'll chip about the gun again. <laughs> it's eight sides. Ah. Yeah, eight sides. Okay. Let's see. If I can get this. So there's that. And I do that. Like that. Sorry for making me start. No, no, it's alright. That that's why I'm I'm doing sandbox. Like I'm taking my time with this. I'm in no rush to get things done. Sandbox is just us just chilling, vibing, and just building whatever we want. It's gonna be tough. I'm doing like that. Maybe two, three. And that's four. I'm trying to be like in the middle. Middle point between the both. It's five. Six. Seven. Ah, it's so close. It's kind of like it, right? It's not symmetrical, but it's got the, it's close enough to it. It's tough trying to do that with, with the fences in this game. At, at some point, at some point we're going to get really good at uh, working with the terrain and whatnot with this. And I, we definitely need to f uh, flatten a part of this environment out. All the interior of this needs to be level and flat. Even like a lawn, it needs to be. I'm planning all this out. Can it all match be level? Double that part out. Okay. 
That might be a good place to start. Uh, let's get rid of a lot of the foliage around this side. So that we can like see what we're working with here. Okay, so this is like raised up. Uh, flatten this out. Okay. Same thing here. There's a little space next to it so you can put a control center. Exactly, yes. That's that's my key thing here. Because I can put a lot of decor in this. Um, I think this maintenance cover is from... Actually, no, it's not. It's got the DFW on it. It looks so similar to it, though. I was thinking of the shed from Jurassic World, like where they had the meeting with Owen with setting up the plan for the Raptors to attack the Indominus. But we can have storage stock, we can have uh, tents. I think the trailer, uh, where is it? The trailer office might be good to use. For this location. This is all. Make sure this is all flat. Make sure all this in this location is flat. And there's a lot of dirt in the paddock itself. A lot of dirt. Uh, not much foliage is in here. Apart from like probably like some of the sides, but it's mainly. I I, I wish they had the uh overview platform that they had for the Raptor paddock in. Jurassic World, because I feel like that they sh they should have that as as a way to like view enclosures for guests. Because that'd be the perfect way to showcase it and make it like feel le legitimate. Where's the? There it is. Uh, dirt again. I'm gonna de decrease the radius. Actually. Doesn't matter because also there's also a lot of dirt on the outside of it, so move foliage completely. Okay, then that way we can have the dirt, and then we do dirt as well, quite a bit on the outside. And some foliage here that needs to be removed. Here's the radius as well. There we go. That's a good start for that. Yep. We need to include water in here for them. And then have a goat feeder. small singular radius uh i think it really matters like where i put it like as long as it's like in a corner somewhere i want to see maybe like in this corner upper corner Did that add water? That did not add water at all. There it is. <laughs> that should be good enough for them. <laughs> they, they don't need much.
And we'll add some trees in here. And maybe a couple trees on this side. Actually, trees here, here. Move the trees on that. There. So they have that. I would need a gate as well. So there's a regular Jurassic World gate for this. Uh, where to put the... Probably here. That's roughly about even distance, so there we go. And then the goat feeder. We may need a couple of them. So I'm going to put on... I may put them like in the corners. On there, and then... There's like one over... And one over here maybe. It's something. Is there a door me mechanism? Um, y you can open the gates, yeah. You can open, you can close them. There's also like viewing platforms that you can have, which you, you can directly connect to fences to just view them from. Just different style, the styles of it too. I mean, platforms, which are kind of meant for more long distance, so you could have, like, a tower here, but obviously that's, like, outside of the radius. Uh, and there's uh, lagoon stands. There's research outposts, which would be hanging up. It'd be kind of... It's kind of, like, as close as you could get, but it's from... Uh, Dominion from from the Biosyn Sanctuary. Oops, wrong thing. Then there's a T-Rex log viewing gallery from Jurassic World for Rexy's paddock. There's also um a dome viewing gallery which we could use for the Raptors, but it's on it's on the ground though. But it might be like the closest thing to they we could have apart from the. You're gonna eat a lot of chocolate later. Oh, why is that? I think we just have to have a dome in the center. Put this dome here, and then we have the entrance of it. We could have it be a, a part of the fence. Probably, probably not, because we can we can have it go pretty far out. So if I wanted to, it, it, it to connect to like here, it's about as this about as far from a distance as as it can go. So people can literally just go to here. And then it's a tunnel system and it takes them underground and then boop, they're there. So I may do that, like have, just have it along this pathway for people to go to. Okay, as close as I can get it. So to there. 
And then just... Then boop, there's the lights. People could just look at the raptors from it for a minute. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of the raptor cage from this area. We're gonna head to the raptor cage over in the section where they are. So I'm going to make another ranger team. Uh, operations. Where is the ranger team at? Uh, expedition center. Expedition center. Where are you at? Response facility. Um, Uh, do like that. I can eat so much chocolate fizz. Ooh, very nice. That sounds delicious. I'm just not gonna hungry myself too, so I may end the stream soon. Um Here's what we'll do. We'll make a facility path. I'm gonna have it go along this way. I have a cut through here and connect to the hatchery area. I'm gonna put some trees here. Hide off the hatchery area. Eat noms? I, I will soon, yes. My mom uh, is making her infamous chicken broccoli casserole. So it's very delicious. It's, it's one of my favorites. So I'll be looking forward to eating that. I'm going to add more test scheduling and then the additional ranger team. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. She said she'll she'll have some spare left for me when once I'm done with my stream. Alright, and then I'm going to add additional things for decor. Like, uh, buy another watchtower. Watchtowers, I think, would be good for the raptor enclosure. Uh, let's see, like, where the windows are. I guess that's where the entrance is. <laughs> it's it's amazing just hearing uh buttercup and brownie just roaring in the distance. No matter where you are in the park. We'll do one there. 
and probably another one on the opposite side. The door for that is on that side, so I'll just swap it. Actually, no, I'll have them be unison. It makes sense for the door to be actually... Ladder be there. Then, oop. We got watchtowers while watching, keeping an eye on the raptor enclosure. And then, um, let's add the, the cage. By the cage there. Um, what else could I? I can always add more stuff to like while we're adding them in. But I think now let's release them. Actually, I think it's time. I make sure that I'm releasing them in the right order. Uh, shoot. Uh, which one is which? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I believe blue is the first one. It was in the order of the skins. So if my look at look at the genome modifier. So it was blue Charlie Delta Echo. So I gotta release the first one first, sec the third one second. All right, ladies and gents, it's time to release the Raptor Squad into our new Jurassic World. So we're gonna start off with Blue. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows I have a soft spot for this dinosaur, the Velociraptor. And they get a bad rap as far as I'm concerned. But if you imprint early enough, you can make real connections with them. Other than Claire, raptors are the most intelligent partners I've ever had. And like her, they could kill me in the blink of an eye. <laughs> that's a that's a joke. <laughs> nice one, Owen. <laughs> Unlike Claire, they're intelligent. That's great. <laughs> okay. So then... If you look at the genomes again... Uh, Delta... Jurassic World... She was the second oldest, right? Second oldest, okay. And she would be the third one. The third one. I'm gonna actually also maybe tranquilize. Nah, I'll release them all together. Yeah, I'll tranquilize. Uh, blue. I'll have this team do it. Or I'll do it myself. Very indecisive, but you know what? For blue, yeah, I'm gonna do it myself. Alright, blue. Negative contact. 
That was close. That was not. Direct hit. And down you go. There she goes. <laughs> Should have finished her animation cycle, apparently. Alright, Blue. Take you to your new home. I probably should also do... Oh, what should we call it? Add some rocks in here. Taiga. Commencing asset transit. I got tropical ones. Panicking? Okay. <laughs> you're panicking. I thought you were going to attack the goat for a second. You weren't. <laughs> Does it record their age still as well since I've turned it off? Oh, where are you going? You're going for water? Water, yes. Uh, Does it say? It does say age. Okay. So it does record their age as, as they're in-game still. Oh, to get on the hunt, she's on the prowl. Of course, you go through the trees. <laughs> but she has her first goat kill. Hey, yo. Yo, yo. Alright. Next will be. Delta, which is what this one should be. Yeah, that looks like Delta. Okay, let's double check. It is Delta, good. Alright. Delta. Have you tranquilized Delta? Uh, do, 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 do. I wonder if I should have. There is also a Raptor sign, I believe, too, that we could have. There is. I wonder if we should include this somewhere in here. Or actually, no. I would include it by the entrance for the viewing dome. Which is here. Yeah. That's been tranquilized. Move you over to where Blue is. Back had to find something important. 
A. That's... I'm glad you found it, hopefully. We just tranquilized Delta. The second oldest raptor. And we're gonna move her over to where Blue is now. Yeah, okay, good. Glad you found it. Here's Blue. She's lonely. Delta's on her way. Yeah, this, this is a pretty small, decent-sized enclosure for raptors. They don't need much space. Oh. You're gonna hunt, hunt, hunt. Yeah! Dang. <laughs> Already ate another goat. And here comes Delta. We'll see if uh, these two end up fighting for dominance at all. Alright, Delta. Welcome to your new home. Hunting prey. Oh, you're hungry. And... The camera... The camera angle just switches automatically when there's a lot of trees. Jeez. But she is eating. She likes to eat with in private. Oh, she did the call. So Blue is indeed the alpha. Good. As she should be. Good. That does fall in line. Next is... Echo. And Echo in this library. Is the last one. I wish they would get, list the cosmetic as well when you're in this part of the hatchery bay, but it doesn't. All right. Let's release Echo. Yeah. It is indeed Echo. Good. Rawr, yes. <laughs> okay. Now we need... Catch a team. Tranquilize Echo for me, please. It's great having this team right here. <laughs> it, ma it makes sense. I also need to fix this uh, a little bit. Going on this terrain. And smoothen it in as well. Smooth. Alright, I'm guessing Echo has been tranquilized. Yep. Transport you to your new home. To be with your sisters. <laughs> Another goat is dead. Oh, let's have another one dead. Yeah! 
<laughs> ah, the tree's in the way, but the angle was still good enough. <laughs> Man, they're killing a lot. <laughs> they're killing a lot of goats. There's bodies of goats everywhere. Alright, good. Echo's on her way. Um, did you do? You've been live almost five hours. Dang, doesn't feel like it at all. We will need to add more decor. Um, once we get... It's Charlie, right? That's the last one that we need in here. I view genome library. Modify genome. That's yeah, Charlie. Once we get Charlie in, uh, and have, and see them intermingle with each other, I probably will end the stream. And then, um, Asset transported. we would continue the progress on this next week, working on around this area more, getting more decor, uh, to the Raptor Paddock area. It, it, it's just pretty barren right now, but... <laughs> We'll make it look nicer. Send a lot of dirt. Oh, there is parts of Floyd's that needs to be removed. Okay. Well, director call. Okay, Echo is now in. And now Echo's gonna hunt. Where's the trees? Yeah! <laughs> nice one, Echo. Oh yeah, she's, she's got a scar on her snout. Um, I believe she did... Earn that from trying to fight with uh, blue or dominance. So she has this scar. And blue got another go kill too. <laughs> okay. We're down to the last raptor. Which is Charlie. So let's release. Yeah. Charlie. Let's go. All right, capture team, go tranquilize Charlie, the last of the Raptor squad. The youngest of the four. Here they come. <laughs> I'm going to add um, some additional dirt to this area. And I may remove part of this foliage there. Just so the watchtower can actually look inside and see what's happening, because this there's a tree there that's just blocking the, the eyesight. <laughs> okay. Try to tranquilized. Go be with your sisters. I 
need to add um do, 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 do. I have to think about the layout for this a bit more. Assets in the air. Okay. Charlie is on her way. Let's go, Charlie. Go be with your sisters. Oh my god, Echo just got a got another goat kill. <laughs> I swear, they're just on a, on a killing speed with all the goats. Alright, here comes Charlie. We'll have all four raptors of the raptor squad in here now. Let's go. Alright, Charlie, welcome home. Yes, with your sisters, and it's time for you to uh, kill a goat. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Acquainted already. Yeah. Just the eyes. I love the eyes. There we go. We have all four raptors in here now. We got blue, delta. Echo. And Charlie. Charlie, what are you doing, Charlie? There's Charlie. So there we go, we have the Raptor Squad in here now. And Blue is the Alpha, all is right. All is right with the world today. You've been live for almost five hours? Man. <laughs> this has been a lot of fun. So I love this layout that we're starting to form. We need to be weary of what what else we do. Um, I definitely want to add more herbivores into this enclosure with Tuptus and all the Hamal Hamal in here. Hey, <laughs> goat! <laughs> Tuptus. Yeah. We need more herbivores in this enclosure with them. To expand uh dice of visibility in here. So I'll add more herbivores in here. What ones? Um I'll have to see. Uh maybe a hydrosaur type. Uh actually, yeah, that'd be that'd be great to do hydrosaurs potentially. I wanna have a variety of sizes in here. So I thought this would be like the large. Uh, Hamasifle is, uh, definitely on the small side. Uh, which one is... There's Rebel. <laughs> we have Rebel. Who is the Alpha. So Hamasifle is small, so we need to get a, a medium-sized herbivore in here. So I think, uh, Parasaur... Would be good, and then some other uh, smaller size herbivore that's bigger than Hamalcifle would be a good fit in here. Uh, and then of course, you can't forget the lovely couple, Buttercup and Brownie. They're right in their home <laughs> with with the zip line in tow. Heck yeah. <laughs> Adorable. We love them both. Especially Gap Coop. <laughs> and thank you for the six likes on the stream. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All very much. Oh, another roar. Yeah. 
Yeah. I, I love the calm rain. It's great. This game is so beautiful. A huge improvement from the first one. I'm loving sandbox mode already. The amount of options we have for sandbox is unreal. We get to use all the buildings, all the structures, all the all the all the decor that we can think of from uh throughout the entire franchise. So this is just the beginning. Just the beginning. We'll have to obviously sort out amenities uh, for guests, get hotels, restaurants, shops, figure out more enclosures. We need to have uh, a lagoon, we need to have aviary, and then other, other enclosures for the dinosaurs. So I want to maximize this space as much as we possibly can. Um. So we're going to add a lot more decor for this section of, of the Raptor Paddock. Uh, maybe add some things around here. Because I, I kept this lake here. Because I could probably have this be... I would say sand, but maybe not. Maybe something else. Um, but just add a lot of decor in here. Somehow. And we'll keep the main strip kind of the same. We'll have a lot of the shops, restaurants... Going down this main street here. So we're getting there. And we need to get Carnotaurus, so we'll have Toro from Cretaceous in this as well. Um, and then we will include other, other dinosaurs that I've uh, yet to include. It would be great to use new ones that we haven't uh, seen yet. So it's just the beginning. Oh, <laughs> that is so. I, I I love the the low frequency sounds they make with each other. We is it blind? <laughs> but yeah. So I believe that I have rambled on enough. This has been a lot of fun. I need to go uh, eat and chill. Ooh, one more roar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and Brawny needs to do one too. Yeah. <laughs> so, for now, uh, that'll be it for me. Next week, we will stream more sandbox mode, work on this park a whole lot more. It's been a lot of fun. And I can't wait to experience more of it with, with, with you guys. I can't thank y'all enough for watching, whether it's been live or just post-stream, just watching uh, stream VOD of this. I, I really, really appreciate all of your support. It means the world to me. I'm looking forward to making many more memories with you guys. So, with that being said, I will see you guys again next week for more Jurassic World Evolution 2. Bye!